the idea of the governor of New Jersey, of this governor of New Jersey, having this golden moment, what does it mean to him, do you think? It's huge. I mean, this is a guy who, remember, people forget this or don't even know it. He ran for freeholder in Morris County and lost, ran for the state assembly and lost. I mean, this is somebody who uh, many people said was dead politically. In fact, a lot of the Republicans, Mike, in the Morris County area were like, Chris Christie's done. And to be able to come back like this, to have this keynote address in front of the nation, to be the guy, to be the person with everyone's eyes on him. All the delegations want him. They, he goes and speaks. But some of the polls that we saw, Rutgers Eagleton poll today saying, yeah, the state is kind of okay about it, according to this poll. Fewer people, less than a majority, said they're excited or think it's a good thing for the state. So he still is a, is he a bit of a divisive figure at home, right? Well, listen, anytime you say things clearly and you say them, you know, the way the governor says them, look, you can't do what he's done. You can't say the things that he has said and try to change things without getting some people upset. And that's what he has done. Um, Why does that message resonate with this party so much? Because you get the feeling when you look and we interview these people after he speaks to these delegations. They're you know, pumped. They want, it's almost like they'd rather have well, him. <clears throat> well, look, look, I know that Chris Christie's not going to say this because you don't get the keynote speaker to say this and the Romney people had to vet the speech. But let's not kid ourselves. You're comparing Chris Christie, a dynamic, strong speaker. Even, listen, there are issues I disagree with him on. I've been on the set with him and we've had interviews where... It is uncomfortable and awkward because he's strong and you're a strong interviewer. But the fact is, with Mitt Romney, mm -hmm. it's never like that. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because with Romney, you can't get a feeling for where he's at. Mm -hmm. You compare Romney to Christie. There are a lot of people, 20, 25,000 people in that audience tonight and millions watching. I would bet there are a fair number of people saying, wait a minute, something's wrong with this picture. Mm -hmm. Christie's got to watch that, in my opinion, because that's not good for him because the Romney folks have to feel like Christie's a good team player. About a year ago, when I did an interview with, uh, with the former Governor Kane, and I was asking I saw about this. Well, thank you. I was asking about this, this kind of dynamic that exists long before we knew that Romney was going to have the nomination. But, but uh, Governor Kane leaned into me and said, Mike, you know, all the candidates don't have to look like anchor men. <laughs> <laughs> But some would argue, right, that's exactly what the Republicans are nominated. Because Romney does. Exactly. And listen, I, I think what he means by anchor men, of course, he doesn't mean dynamic, strong, charismatic right. anchor men like you, kissing up to you like that. You like that? <laughs> it's, We're not supposed to do that on PBS, very but effective. that's all right. But I think what he means is the kind of person that is reading a script. Yeah. That's a prototype, if you will. But unfortunately for Romney, let's not kid ourselves. This is a guy who was, he was governor of Massachusetts, had a certain point of view, had a certain persona, moderate, leaning liberal on gay issues, on gun control, on health care. Right. Everyone in Massachusetts got to have health care. Runs yeah. for the presidency. I'm going to reform. I'm going to get rid of Obamacare. Yeah. Yeah. Same issue. My point is the thing that people like about Christie, even if they disagree with him, and there's a lot to disagree with on him on certain issues, yeah. he is who he says he is. And you know him. I mean, you know him well. He's having fun down there, isn't he? He's enjoying himself. You know, he's having, if it were me. He's working hard, but he's having fun. Let me fun. say this, Mike. I would say this. Any, any normal person with the same anxieties and fears and whatever, if it were you, if it were me, for a lot of political people, I think he'd be pretty nervous about this speech. You don't think he is? This is my instinct. And this is going to sound nuts to viewers. I think he doesn't have this much nervousness. I think he has no anxiety. I think he is pumped. I think he thinks it's some sort of Super Bowl game where he wants, let's get in there and hit. I think he's ready to do this. He's been wanting to do it his whole life. This we is his speech. We talked to Governor, uh, former Governor Florio. Uh, Last night. Absolutely. And thank you for remembering my schedule. He, it's uh, DVR, my <laughs> <laughs> he, uh He said that he thought that Chris Christie would have some trouble uh, appealing to what he kind of uh, alluded to as the shrill the Tea elements. Party folks? Yeah, well, it, the shrill elements of the party. He having is. a shrill camp. Uh, they're not going to like it. Yeah. I think there are going to be a lot of people in the Republican Party disappointed tonight. The people who want Chris Christie to bash this president on a personal level, the people who want... Listen, when Mitt Rom Romney made that stupid mistake, I think he thinks he was trying to be funny. At least nobody has to question where I'm from. Yeah. You're not going to see Christie doing those cheap things well, tonight. He, he's on, he was on the air this morning saying if... It, if it were possible to take it Christy. back, he felt Romney would take it back. Yeah, Christie said... He said that was a mistake. Yeah, he said, yeah. He said, trying to be funny, it was a mistake. He, well, he said what he said was essentially that he felt that Romney, if he could take it back, would, would take it back. But he said that's also think, an occupational think, hazard. Except this is why 
Mitt Romney has to be so scripted because when he tries to get outside of that, you begin to see that he's dangerous. I would say that Governor Florio was right on there because I think Chris Christie is going to have a problem with the right wing of the Republican Party on gay rights issues, on certain other issues, including, listen, on the Muslim issue, he's been he's been open. But he won't have that much of a problem until or unless he's that candidate there. Steve, we I mean, have 2016, to... uh, if yeah. Romney loses. Yeah. yeah. Steve, if. thanks for coming in. Great to be Always here. Good pleasure. to see you, Mike. Thank you.